This edition of Seagull Soundbites is powered by APPI Energy. Partner with APPI for powerful solutions. Welcome to this edition of Seagull Soundbites powered by Appy Energy. Let Appy help your business reduce energy expenses. I'm Christian Payne, joined on this beautiful sunny day here in Salisbury by an assistant coach and by a player for the Seagulls here in 2013. It's playoff time, so I'll start with you, Kyle. And really a lot to look forward to this week. You guys were busy in practice. So what was the latest here from Seagull Field? What are you guys really looking forward to uh, for the playoffs? Uh, you know, right now we're working on uh, transition, you know, getting the ball off the ground, uh, being aggressive, trying to make smart plays, and you know, just take care of the ball in general. So. What are you guys working on your line specifically? You're running in there with the second midfield. So talk about your progression a little bit. Well, the second guys, you know, our main job is to get a possession, you know, hold on to it, try to, you know, take care of the ball, give the first guys a break, and if we can, you know, score. So we're trying to work on that kind of stuff. Now move over to you, Matt. And obviously you have a lot of recent experience in the playoffs in the Capital Athletic Conference, uh, three-time first-team all-selection. So what do you really look forward to this year for St. Mary's, a team that comes in with a, a lot of confidence? So talk about what your prep is like. Like you said, uh, we're playing against St. Mary's this year. Since I've been here, we've only seen Stevenson in the CAC championship, and them not in our conference, you know, really allows us to see a different team. St. Mary's always gives us uh, a game. It's always a battle when we play them. They're a great team, you know. They're really, really tough on uh, defense. Uh, their attack shoots real well. So uh, we just really want to push, push the ball up the field, you know, play our game. And uh, when that happens, uh, great things happen here at Seagull Stadium. And Matt, this week, a lot to celebrate for the Seagulls. 11 of your players were selected to the conference, all uh, first team and all the other teams as well. So what does that feel like for you to be a coach and to be involved with that great tradition? Oh, it's a great accomplishment for the guys. That's what it really is about. It's about them and uh, just their hard work and um, dedication that shows at the end of the year, you know, they're getting rewarded for all the time they put into this sport. And uh, it's great to see. And uh, hopefully we can just keep it going and uh, those guys can continue to step up. And Kyle, you were part of the championship team last year from last spring for the program's 17th title. So do you think that you guys are ready for the 18th? I think we're ready, you know. We had a tough start to the season, but everybody's working hard, and I think guys are starting to buy into the system, and we're ready to go. And Cal, you're a guy from New Jersey, so you've seen a lot of development with lacrosse, and now you're in your second year with the Seagulls program. So what does it feel like to be a part of a team that has a lot of diversity? It feels good. I mean, Coming out of New Jersey, you know, it was pretty good tradition there. And you know, to come here, it's the, the best of the you know the best of the best. And my high school coach actually played here, so you know, growing up, Salisbury was you know it was it. So it was pretty exciting to come. Kyle, guys, keeping the tradition alive in Seagull Land. And speaking of tradition, Matt, a lot of great things coming from your end from that lefty attack spot. Now you're on the sideline, so give a little bit of insight from the coaching standpoint. What are you guys specifically focused on? Uh, for this big playoff matchup? Well, we just like to uh, continue with our game plan, you know, get the ball inside, uh, finish when we have our opportunities. We're all about making the extra pass. And uh, you've seen Brady DeShield and uh, Jesse really step up this year. Jesse last game, six goals, three assists. That's just unbelievable, you know. The kid's playing out of his mind right now. And hopefully he can just uh, continue to do that, play within himself, and uh, really go from there. So it's exciting to see, and hopefully we can keep it going. Well, tradition is a great thing here for Salisbury Lacrosse. I'm number for them, but I have to ask you, Kyle, is that a playoff beard? What are we seeing from Kyle Goss under the, the good old lax lettuce and everything? You know, I'm, I'm sure you like the style, but what's up with the beard, man? Uh, this, is, uh, this is the playoff beard. You know, everybody uh, has been bugging me to grow it, so I'm one of the few guys on the team who can grow a beard, so <laughs> try to keep going. Has style on the lacrosse field, maybe GQ Magazine, right? You know, if they call me up, I'm ready. <laughs> Kyle Goss, ready and willing. And then for you, Matt, of course, you are a great lacrosse player, player and continuing your game as well in the major leagues. But there's also another major league sport I understand you're pretty excited about. So Caps, Rangers, who you got? Oh, I got the Rangers. You know, I'm a Long Island boy. And uh, I, even my brother plays uh, professional for Ottawa organization. So I still got to stick it to him and go with the Rangers. Well, thanks, guys. It's really always a pleasure to catch up with you both. And uh, looking forward to call the game here on Sunday. Good luck, Kyle. Thank you. Same to you on the sideline, Matt. Thanks as always. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching this segment of Seagull Soundbites powered by Appy Energy. Let Appy help your business reduce energy expenses. For SFMSports.net, I'm Christian Payne.